listening, you're... New York is probably the only place you could have done this story. Here we go! And in the movie, New York is a lot everywhere. The show is sex and the city, and that's what it is. It's about the love lives of these women and the city of New York. I don't think there was another show about what New York can be and possibilities for women in New York and how you can make it on your own. Oh, I remember that smile. Who's the guy? It's a tough city to be single in, so it really is a wonderful, beautiful backdrop to the excitement of what it can be and the loneliness and the craziness in any given day. I don't know what it's Oh, there is murder! It really embraces so much of what our girls go through. The city became this critical character, integral to the story, and really was the fifth lady. Taxi! It feeds every fiber of the show. The excitement and the vibrancy, it's very immediate, and it's all around you. What they did in the writing and in the shooting of it was let's try and bring that to the screen. Showed a great diversity of what New York can be with great restaurants and, and theater and culture and whatnot. So. It's a certain slice of New York. It's mostly New York as a playground. The show is a great calling card to come visit New York and maybe even live here. I think we served each other well. Action, you live in real estate heaven, and I live in Brooklyn. New York Magazine said Brooklyn is the new Manhattan. Oh, whoever wrote that lives in Brooklyn. <laughs> It's really an actor's dream to shoot in New York. This is where you end up, if you're lucky, in my opinion. New York embraced us like a warm blanket. People were more than happy to throw open the doors and welcome us, and garbage trucks go by and yell to Carrie, hey, Carrie. It became almost an MGM backlot for us. It was really fun. And coming into the city doing the film, Everybody's excited to have us back, so we feel excited to be back. They really miss these girls. Half of you go to that lion, and the other half go to that lion. We did not foresee the level of attention. This movie, I mean, we can't get to a location without hundreds and hundreds of people being there. I've never seen anything like that. Between every take, when someone else cut, the crowd surge in. In the middle of the take, someone's screaming, Samantha, I love ya! To walk across this, it's my Sex in the City dream come true. I teared up when I saw it. I got so excited. I want to see what they're wearing. It can look overwhelming. So many people standing there watching you, but then they're really in tune with us, I think. It's pretty amazing and moving, and is also a reminder of why the movie's even happening. And you kind of become a part of it. I'm so excited for the movie. It looks fabulous. I can't wait to see what happens with Carrie and Big. I hope they get together. My girlfriends from Florida are going to come up and we're going to make a weekend out of going to see the movie here. It just doesn't get much better than that to reach people and influence one way or another how they spend their day. Maybe it's just making them laugh. There's a real enthusiasm for this and a real thirst for it. I am so excited. If they're a true fan of Sex and the City, they are gonna love it. It's a great event to come together to watch. There will be enough shocking things in the movie that you'll want to go like this. Well, that was the exact reaction I was aiming for. It's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. Sex. Are you sure she's not my child? <laughs> this is an event, and when will we have this chance again? The four of us together again. It's been really, really exciting.